Hey guys, I'm here working on a 2.4 liter Hyundai Elantra 2004 16 valve dual overhead cam. Now this guy came in uh, with a broken timing valve. So I did a leak down test and he luckily didn't break any valves. This is an interference engine, supposedly. That's what I read. I might be wrong. Um, so when I replaced the belt, I lined up the marks and started up. It ran fine, but it made a lot of vibration. And the vibration is caused because the balance shafts were uh, not lined up correctly. I did follow the directions from uh, All Data and Mitchell, but All Data and Mitchell does not explain one important fact. Let me get into the detail. You can see here, my timing marks are lined up, right there, and right here. Looks good, doesn't it? But there can be a problem. If you, this can be lined up uh, incorrectly because this one has a three to one. Gear, gear reduction uh, built into the engine you can't see so you can put this in three wrong position or two wrong positions and let me explain that in a second this one this is a balance shaft here but it's only it's gonna have a one-to-one -one direct drive so you mark line this up here uh, this is a top dead center compression crankshaft and you line up the mark here, you're you're good. That one, you don't have to worry about that. But let me explain this guy here. I'm gonna loosen this up just to explain it to you. Now, okay, take the belt off. See, when I did this job first time the belt was broken so I couldn't tell you know what position this was in so I just lined it up and put the belt on that's a, that's not correct and here's a trick this will work on Mitsubishi engines as well and I believe some Chrysler engines um, see this mark right here we're gonna use gravity you know, move it around here and let go. Oh, see, it doesn't want to line up. Right there, rotates the other direction. And if we do that again, see? But if it's in the correct direction, it's gonna be wanting to go to the, the mark. wants to go to zero. So this is correct. Move it, let go, it wants to go straight across here. So this is, remember, three to one gear ratio. And it's, or uh, that's what I was told, I think it's two to one, but it's got gears in here. It's not a direct drive. And there's another way to check it. We'll line it up in the wrong spot. This is uh, incorrect spot right here, and I'm going to go up, and we're going to check it down here. So down here, at this little hole, and you're supposed to check, see it's not going in. Must be a, put a screwdriver or a drill bit or something in this hole. If it doesn't line up, it's not going to go in all the way. Now, let's go back here. I'm going to rotate it to where it wants to be, the gravity. 
right about there. Let's go back up here and try it again. this helps somebody because I wish I knew that I wish I knew that this this was not direct drive all they tell you is to line up the marks and go and uh, if you read carefully the instructions will rec will tell you to put the you know a screwdriver back in or a drill bit what I used to loosen this nut and tighten the nut but it doesn't tell you that it is a uh, gear reduction unit and you can spin it and it'll throw off the timing and cause your engine to vibrate like crazy so just keep that in mind thank you for watching and uh, leave me some comments and uh, tell your friends to watch this video that are mechanics and yes I know I'm not supposed to do this but I'm it's a very light clamp I'm just doing this so that you guys can benefit from this video. Thank you.